Hello everyone, my name is Delonda and I would like for you to know that I typically do not start my tutorials in this manner. If you've been with me for any length of time, then you know that I have several products from PYD Life, some that I've purchased and some that were sent to me. No matter how I received a product, I want you to know that I have always and I will continue to always give my honest review. This PYD Life heat press is one of their newer products and it is not a product that I can recommend. I am going to demonstrate how to use it. I'm going to quickly go through a few of the things that I pressed while I used it. But at the end of the video and in the video description below, you will not see a link to purchase this specific heat press. Now, I will say this is one of their newer products, so maybe they are still working out the glitches. Maybe a part of it was user error, but there were so many user errors for me that I just cannot in good conscience recommend this heat press. At the end of the video, I'm going to give you all of the reasons why, and you will be able to make an informed decision for yourself if you're in the market for a heat press. Now, without further ado, Let's get into the tutorial in our regularly scheduled way. And I'm going to go quickly through the products that I pressed and you will be able to see the time and temperature settings so that you can make an informed decision for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Hello everyone and welcome to Crafting with Delonda. It's me again, Delonda. And thank you so much for joining me today. In today's little chat, I'm going to show you what PYD Life sent me. They sent me their newest heat press and it's actually called a flat heat press. So I am going to show you some of the other things they sent me to kind of test this thing out on. But in addition to that, I am going to compare this to one of the very popular, very familiar heat presses that many new crafters have decided to call their own. At any time during this tutorial, if you find it helpful, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my channel, and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Now, without further ado, let's get started. In addition to this flat heat press, PYD Life sent me a couple of sublimation blanks to test out. They sent me some of their butcher paper to test out. This is a new product for them, I think. And they also sent a package of mini cloths. So the sublimation glass ornaments come in a package of 24. I'm actually not going to sublimate these. I already have a tutorial on my channel in which I followed the sublimation process for glass ornaments. This is what my ornaments looked like when they uh, when I sublimated them. I think they're already gorgeous. So I will definitely leave a link below this video in case you want to start getting ready for Christmas. So this is another, and I'll make sure to leave a link below this video. Um, another um, sublimation items PYD Life sent is a package of sublimation ceramic ornaments. These come in a 25 pack. I am going to sublimate these. One thing I will say that I like about PYD Life and their packaging is that it tells you all of the instructions on the box and the instructions are always included in their user manual. So I love that. I don't know about any other companies that do it that well, but that's one thing I like about PYD Life. So for the sublimation ceramic ornaments, it says these have to be pressed for three on 360 degrees Fahrenheit for 250 seconds. I'm definitely gonna do that. These mini towels come in a package of 12 and I would say they're right at about seven by seven. They are a uh, double face towel, so you can press both sides or do one side. And these are 50% polyester and 50% cotton. I am going to use sublimation on one 
and I'm going to use um, heat transfer vinyl on another just so we can see what they look like. PYD Life has uh, their own brand or their own line of butcher paper for sublimation. If you've been following me for any length of time, you know that I use a huge roll of butcher paper that I purchase here locally, but I'm going to use their brand while we're doing this tutorial. And then last but not least, I am going to compare using this to one of the more popular heat presses that many crafters buy when they are first starting out. So if you don't have a heat press and you're considering getting one that is considered as a heat press, you might want to stick around. So without further ado, let's get this turned on and we will get everything pressed and I will be giving you my real, true, honest thoughts about it as we go along. So if you've been following me for any length of time, you know I like to print my images and put them on the heat plate and today is no different. I am going to get my printed images put on this heat plate and I'm going to power this on. Now this is my first time powering it on and we will see what that all looks like. So there is a piece of plastic here at the top. I know you can't see that, but it's right here on the display. And I am going to set this at 400 degrees for 60 seconds. So I'm gonna press the set button. And it tells me that the present value is at 392. I'm gonna go up to 400. There is no beeping involved. I'm excited about that. I'm going to press set and then I'm going to press um, the time for 60 seconds. I'm pressing the button to move the timer down. It's moving down really fast. What I'm curious about is how long it's going to take to heat up. So I will speed this part up and let this heat up and we'll, I'll let you know how long it takes to heat up. Now, when I started this tutorial, I told you I will be comparing this to one of the popular heat presses. Now, even though this is really not considered as a heat press, this is considered as a viable heat source. This is the 9x9 nine nine Cricut Easy Press and 9x9 nine nine means it has a heat surface of 9 inches by 9 inches. This is the heat source that I actually started with when I started crafting. So it is a viable heat source. This will reach up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the highest it'll go. This one, when I put the images on the heat press and I said I'm going to see how long it takes to heat up, I put it on the, I put the images here at 7 p.m. This heat press did not reach 400 degrees until 7.21 p.m. So it took 21 minutes. I think the Cricut 9x9 Easy Press will heat up to 400 degrees with it under two minutes. It does heat up really, really fast. Don't quote me on that. I just know this is it's really fast. Now, because we are at the 400 degree mark, I am going to start with my fabrics first. So I'm going to press one of the PYD Life mini cloths. Now I found something funny on this tag and it may or may not be funny to you, but I'm going to share it with you. It says warm machine wash, warm iron inside out. <laughs> and I was just wondering how do you turn this inside out because you literally cannot, but I thought that was quite funny. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to go over this with my lint roller. Remember, uh-uh, wait a minute. <laughs> Remember, this is not this is not 100% uh, polyester. This is actually 50% polyester. That's not good. Hold on. Let me just do it like this. <laughs> this is actually 50% polyester and 50% uh, cotton. Okay, so I have my first image, and let me go ahead and do a quick pre-press. So this will be my first press. I'm a little bit nervous because I can always see. All right, I'll do a quick pre-press. Fairly easy to use, okay. So now I'm gonna lift it up. There is a little bit of tension, I like that, so it doesn't lift up too fast. All right, I am just going to use this All right, 
and we will press this for 60 seconds. So, I'm not sure what's going to make it go because the timer did not start. Reading is fundamental. Let's see. Okay, so the timer was supposed to start out automatically and it is still on 60 seconds. It did not start. So I'm going to have to kind of just watch my <laughs> watch my watch and see when it gets to 60 seconds or one minute. I am going to very carefully remove this and see how it's sublimated. Let me grab my gloves because that is very hot. Let me come around and bring it closer so you can get a good look at it. So here is the sublimated image. Ooh, now that is nice. Look at that. Look. Look. For this to be 50% polyester and 50% cotton, that is really, really nice. I'm very impressed by this. All right. Let's sublimate my logo onto one of these and see what that looks like. I follow the same process to get the mini towel ready. You probably can't tell, but this part was really scary for me. The heat press actually was stuck closed and it was powered on. I was a little bit frantic. I started calling my husband. I actually powered it off and then I went to the other side of the table and I was able to get it back open. After I got it open, I was determined to press my logo. Now, one difference here is that if I were using the Cricut Easy Press, I would have to hold it and add some pressure if I were to press one of these. So that is one major difference in this press and the Easy Press. All right, I'm gonna press it down. And the countdown is working now. I have it on 60 seconds. Okay, so it's beeping. Oh my gosh. So as you can imagine, this was another scary moment for me. I tried everything in my power to open it. I tried to adjust the knob. I came around to the other side of the table and I still couldn't get it. Thank goodness my husband was downstairs. He came up and he was able to open it for me. And he spent time after he opened it trying to explain why it wasn't opening and why I couldn't adjust it and how the two bolts at the top and the bottom needed to be loosened. And I was just grateful that he was there to help. I really didn't want to quit. And since my husband had gone downstairs to get his tools, I figured I might as well show how my logo sublimated onto the mini towels. Now, I really did love these mini towels. I was quite impressed with how vibrant the image was. I really did love it. Color is a bit muted on this side, but it's still beautiful. I still love it. Um, 
not as much as I love the other side. You can see it's very vibrant. So maybe where they say 50% polyester, 50% cotton is 50% is <laughs> all of the polyester is here and all of the cotton is here. That is what I'm going to assume. That's amazing. I love it. I love that. Okay. Okay. For our last and final test. So you've seen me press two towels with sublimated images, two of these mini towels. So I said one side is sublimate is polyester and the other side is probably cotton. Um, what I'm going to do now is press a ceramic tile. Now, according to the directions on the box, the ceramic ornament, it says that it should be pressed at 360 degrees Fahrenheit for 250 seconds. So let me go ahead and change my settings. I'm gonna press the set button. I'm gonna go down. I love the fact that there's no beeping. I'm gonna press set again. And I'm gonna go up to 250 seconds. I'm gonna let this cool down. So I'm gonna press one ceramic ornament here and I'm going to press one ceramic ornament here. Now what you will see is that the pressure here is going to be managed by adjusting the pressure knob. The pressure here is going to be managed by <laughs> just in my arm strength. So we will see how that all works out. Once this reaches the desired temperature, I cannot have both of these powered on at the same time. I do not remember if I reviewed this at the beginning, but the size of this heat plate is 9 by 12, whereas this Cricut Easy Press is 9 by 9. Okay. I have one of the ceramic sublimation blanks. And what I will say right away that I love the fact that these are double-sided. I'm excited about that. So I am going to lint roll this just to get any of the debris off. And I am going to do a quick pre-press of this also. My heat press is set to 360 degrees. I'm just do a quick press. I do not have the pressure too um, heavy, okay? So I'm sure it's very hot. So I printed these images at 2.9 by 2.9 because I found that that was the perfect size. You do want your image to be a little bit bigger than the ornament, all right? I think that's enough. So I've taped one side of the ornament I'll put one sheet of parch, um, butcher paper on the plate. I put the ceramic ornament on the bottom, the printed image on top, and I'm going to place a piece of butcher paper on top of that. I am going to fold it because this butcher paper is thin. I'm going to press this for 250 seconds. I'm going to stop because the timer did not start. I'm not sure why. Okay, so it's beeping. I'm going to carefully pull this up. I know this is going to be super hot. Let me grab my gloves. So this is what the first side looked like after I pressed it. I was so excited. <laughs> so this is what the sublimated ornament looks like. I love it. So now I'm going to do the same one from my Cricut 9x9 Easy Press. So this is from this heat press. I'm going to turn this one off. Since I'm using my Easy Press, I am going to increase the temperature to 370 degrees instead of 360 degrees. Okay, it took three minutes to heat up to 370 degrees, three minutes. All right, so I have my butcher paper. I have the ceramic ornament. I have the image on top, and I'm going to put butcher paper on top of that. And I'm going to have to hold this because this is going to require some pressure. Let me move my camera so you can see that. It's been 250 seconds. I'm going to pull this straight up. I can see the sublimated image through the paper. So that's always a good sign. And this is the one from the Cricut Easy Press. I want to come around and show it to you. 
excellent. It looks, it looks excellent. So it's done the same job as the, the PYD life. So this is 370 degrees. This is 360 degrees. So if you're looking at them side by side, they look identical. They look exactly the same. I sublimated the other side just so we would be comparing apples to apples. Now let me share my final thoughts. Now we're at the end of the video. Let me tell you the reasons why I cannot recommend this heat press. First, I'll tell you the price of this heat press on Amazon as a Prime member is currently $199. So if you're thinking to yourself, wow, I could get a heat press that is nine by 12 for $199, that's a great deal. That's true, that is a great deal. However, you should be careful about what you're getting for $199. One of the factors, one of the first factors that I cannot recommend this heat press is because for me, there are some safety issues. So when I was getting ready to, uh, when I pressed this down, I didn't have an issue. However, when I raised the latch up or the lever up to open it, I feel like I have to hold I have to use one hand to hold it down while I lift it up because otherwise, if you don't do that, this front portion of the heat press also raises up. So now that could be considered to me, in my opinion, as uh, an issue or a safety concern because I don't want to have to hold the heat press with one hand and then lift it with the other. I want to be able to lift it with one hand and not be concerned that it might topple over or that whatever is being pressed may come fall out and I'm I just I don't feel good about that um, number two at one point I had the knob adjusted so that I could press one of the mini towels and because this bolt had not been um, I guess untightened or um, loosened enough I could not raise the heat press up. So I literally had to call my husband while the mini towel was under the heat press and I had to power it down for him to come up and use more strength than I could muster up to get the heat press open. That scared me. Stability is also an area of concern for me because I'm crafting here on a table and this is not bolted to the table. So I just don't feel like this is very safe. I do feel like uh, my husband adjusted this enough so that I could open it and close it with one hand, but I actually feel better using this when I'm standing up and I have one hand down here and I'm using you know both hands to maneuver it. And that for me is not easy to do. Um, so just for those reasons, this heat press is a no for me. Now, if you have, you know, the safe, the space and the, um, you know, the ability to bolt this to a table, maybe that would be better. Um, or if you have the ability to, you know, have this loosened up my husband did loosen these bolts up this top one and this bottom one and maybe it wasn't loose enough because this is so new maybe i should have tried wd-40 like i don't want to go through all of that when i'm ready to use a heat press i don't want to have to go through any of that i want it to be ready to use i want it to be easy enough to use Okay, so those are just my opinions. That is just my experience. If you have had a different experience, please feel free to leave a comment below. Please be respectful with your comments. Um, I don't want this to turn into a bashing of PYD Life because as I stated in the intro, I do love their products. However, this is one that I just cannot recommend. So at any rate, if you found this information helpful, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my channel, and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Thank you so much for joining me today, and thanks for watching. Bye!